Good afternoon. Transcripts have now been released of conversations between Orlando nightclub shooter Omar Mateen and police during the shooting at Pulse nightclub. And meanwhile, more vigils are being held across the country today and here in South Florida to remember the 49 people who lost their lives. A lot of new developments just released today in the Orlando nightclub massacre. Let's get right over to local 10 news reporter Erica Reiko. She spent all last week in Orlando. She's in the newsroom now with the latest. Erica. Well, Christy, within the past hour, the FBI held another news conference in Orlando where they released a redacted transcript of the 911 call Omar Mateen made after he began his deadly rampage. Out of respect for the victims of this horrific tragedy, law enforcement said the audio would not be released at this time. So let's go through it together. Mateen dialed 911 at 2.35 a.m. The call between him and a 911 operator lasted 50 seconds, and it went like this. The operator picks up, Mateen states in Arabic, in the name of God the merciful, the beneficial. The operator says, what? And in Arabic, Mateen said, praise be to God and prayers as well as peace be upon the prophet of God. I let you know I'm in Orlando and I did the shootings. The operator then says, what's your name? Mateen says, my name is, I pledge of allegiance to, and then they've omitted this part. The operator again asks for his name. Mateen said, I pledge allegiance to, omitted. May God protect him, all of this in Arabic, on behalf of, and then that part taken out as well. The operator asked where he is, and Mateen said he was in Orlando. Then when the operator asks, where in Orlando are you, he hung up the phone. The FBI also releasing the summaries of calls between Mateen and crisis negotiators. We now know that the negotiators talked to him on three different occasions while he was inside Pulse. The first time at 2.48 a.m. for nine minutes. Minutes. Then again at 3.03 a.m. they had him on the line for 16 minutes and the last time 3.24 a.m. they had him on the phone for three minutes. We now know that an hour after that last contact negotiators had with Mateen on the phone, the SWAT team took action. This timeline has also just been released. 4.21 a.m. OPD pulled an AC unit out of a Pulse dressing room so that hostages could get out. Then 4.29 a.m. as they were being rescued, they told police that the shooter told, him, told them that he was going to put four vests with bombs on victims within 15 minutes. Immediately, officers searched the shooter's car and inside Pulse, and they found no vest or explosive devices. 5.02 a.m., SWAT team members made that hole in the building that we've seen with an armored vehicle and explosive. 5.14, officers opened fire on Mateen. Then a minute later, officers radioed in that the suspect was down. So after that second exchange of gunfire, uh, upon that initial entry of our officers, uh, there was no other gunfire until the hostage rescue operation took place. So during that three hours, I just wanna make sure everyone's clear on that, uh, there was no gunfire. So during that time, our officers were intermittently in and out of that club, uh, saving people, rescuing people from inside the club. That's another misconception. We were inside the club along with our fellow agency partners. Uh, so, and at some point during, if you see on the timeline, our officers were able to push an air conditioning through uh, to one of the dressing rooms and I believe saved eight people out of that room. And so the Orlando police chief there defending claims from people that they did nothing for three hours, which is why they released this timeline, he says. Chief John Mina says officers were on the scene of the massacre within minutes and that they saved many, many lives. He says officers went into Pulse immediately when they got there and that their entry caused Mateen to stop shooting. Also, out of respect for the 49 people who died, investigators are choosing not to release the audio or the transcripts of calls made by the victims to 911 during the shooting. We know that local police and fire received more than 600 calls during that three-hour period. The FBI also announcing that more than 500 interviews have been done since Sunday. They have released 117 vehicles to survivors and to family members of those who died. This, while their funeral services and memorial services are still taking place both in Orlando and many in Puerto Rico. Several bodies were flown home there. Christy.